I, I gotta say, I'm incredibly excited to be a part of your firm. I mean, uh, <laughs> you, the clients you have are absolutely Fuck the clients. Your only responsibility is to put meat on the table. You got a girlfriend? I'm, I'm married. I have a <clears throat> wife. Her name's Teresa. She cuts hair. Congratulations. Thank you. Think about Teresa. Name of the game? Move the money from your client's pocket into your pocket. Right. But if you can make a client's money at the same time, it's advantageous to everyone, correct? No. <laughs> Number one rule of Wall Street. Nobody, I don't care if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows if the stock is gonna go up, down, sideways, or in fucking circles. Least of all stockbrokers, mm -hmm. right? It's all a fugazi, you know what a fugazi is? Well, fugazi, it's a uh, fake. Yeah, fugazi, fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It, it's not fucking real. <laughs> right? All right? All right. <laughs> Stay with me. Mm -hmm. We don't create shit. We don't build anything. No. So if you've got a client <clears throat> who bought stock at eight mm -hmm. and it now sits at 16, he's all fucking happy. He wants to cash in, liquidate, take his fucking money and run home. You don't let him do that. Okay. Because that would make it real. Right. No. What do you do? You get another brilliant idea, a special idea, another situation, another stock to reinvest his earnings and then some. And he will every single time because they're fucking addicted. And then you just keep doing this again and again and again. Meanwhile, he thinks he's getting shit rich, which he is on paper. But you and me, the brokers, right. we're taking home cold hard cash via commission, motherfucker. First, we pitch him Disney, AT&T, IBM, blue chip stocks exclusively. Companies these people know. Once we've suckered them in, we unload the dog shit, the pink sheets, the penny stocks, where we make the money. 50% commission, baby. It's not like I cared about the 50 grand anyway. I was making that much almost every day through one rat hole or another. Now, a rat hole is a friend, like Brad here, who held stock in his name from me. You're supposed to be, huh? Jack Nichols, you. I'd drive the price up, then he'd sell and kick most of the profits back to, you guessed it, me. All cash, none of it's on the books. A big no-no, of course, in the eyes of the law. I was gonna fire off a bazooka in here, offering up our latest IPO. An IPO is an initial public offering. It's the first time a stock is offered for sale to the general population. Now, as the firm taking the company public, we set the initial sales price, then sold those shares right back to our friends. The I... Look, I, I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. But we were making more money than we knew what to do with. Stock, okay? And not only that, Donnie and I secretly owned 85% of Steve Madden shoes, which legally speaking was a big no-no, but we'd get filthy fucking rich if our troops got behind it. If the U.S. Justice Department sent us a subpoena, it would become a papier toilette. We would wipe our ass with it. <laughs> Unless, of course, it was an investigation into stock fraud, which is a crime here in Switzerland, if I'm correct. Then there would have to be cooperation on your part, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yes, we would. Mm -hmm. Assuming the account is under your name. If it were another name, a friend, a camarade. Cousin? Cousin, absolutely. Relative. Yeah. Hmm. Was that yodeling I just heard, or... Did you just say what I thought you said? Yes, yes. He's telling me to use a fucking rat hole, but a US rat hole would never get into Switzerland with all that money. What I needed was a rat hole with a European passport. 